Everybody's heard of malaria, but you should have malaria once and then you get a sense for how terrible it is. It has a huge toll on uh, kids. Below five is where uh, the hardest thing hits in terms of numbers of fatal deaths. If you imagine a billion people in the world essentially being influenced by this tiny thing that's flying around, there definitely is a huge gap between where we are and where we want to be. When you do get it, there is the simple uh, minded thing that forget diagnostics, let's just go get that tablet. And that's what happens in most of the world. But the problem there is there are many different strains, there are many different medications, and you could potentially make the problem even worse by not realizing, uh, do you even have malaria? And at the same time, the people who get into a severe case, they're not detected at all. So for us, the need finding was, what is that one thing that we could almost distribute for free that starts to match uh, the specificity of what detection requires. For malaria, the standard is to be able to image and sit on a microscope and essentially go through slides. What we found in that as a challenge was if you truly want to scale, we should really be testing more than a billion people every year. So that's a billion tests a year and any platform that you can imagine needs to scale to those numbers to make an impact. It was a hard challenge thinking of making the best possible instrument but almost for free. And that was our starting line. What came out of it is what we call use and throw microscopy. Uh, these little microscopes that are literally built out of paper, tape and glue. And, uh, they're as good as many research microscopes that you can buy. The evolution for us was really starting from that we're going to build something completely from scratch. The components that we were open to using were have to be mass produced and have to be common day-to-day -day materials. So our microscopes have all the little bells and whistles of a traditional microscope, but it's all implemented in a very different medium. We've come very far to an instrument that we really can do uh, very sophisticated modalities of microscopy, but at a cost point where after one use, you could throw the entire microscope away. It's completely flat. It's built by folding. The versions we have go all the way from bright field standard microscopes to fluorescence to dark field polarization, and an unusual one which we call projection microscopes, in which you just literally project the image on any wall. They don't require any power supply. They come as a complete unit, but built out of a platform that's completely rugged that I can beat on and it's still going to survive. The cost for us for making something like this comes down to around uh, 55 to 45 cents. We've gone very far from what we initially built and implemented all the way to these scopes. And you know, there are many more iterations to come. What's really fun about this is we go all the way from a computer file, which is just a bunch of lines, uh, all the way to a functional microscope in less than 20 minutes. So many of our modalities when we invented them really came from that sense of play. And there is this aspect of playfulness and openness about this platform. If people come up with more ideas, they're completely open to change it as they require and build a newer version. And then eventually how people use it will depend on them. One of the things that's been shown over and over again is if you can put an infrastructure to fight malaria that's scalable and sustainable, then you get retraction of malaria in different regions. And so we're really stoked about handing this off to all kinds of people. Because in the end, there is both a training gap and an instrumentation gap. It's the community of health workers and the community that's physically out there day to day that's going to fill up the training gap. But what we're doing initially is providing them the tools to be able to do that. The 
The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.